Hi, this is Brian Crabtree with Your Music Magazine. Today is April 16th, 2010. I'm here with the band Messages Left. How's it going, guys? Fantastic. Um, yeah, I guess can we start with a little introduction who each one of you guys are, what you do in the group? You start. Alright, I'll start. <laughs> What's up, I'm Pecos. I play bass and uh, I'm trying to do other stuff too, but bass for now. <clears throat> and uh, I'm Drew. I'm Drew. Low rhythm guitar and a little lead vocals. <laughs> a lot, lot of stuff. lead vocals. A lot of lead vocals. <laughs> 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 a lot of loads. I'm Katie, and I play drums. That is true. And who's it. missing? Scotty McDonald. He's our lead guitarist. He's rad, but he's not here. Working. Yeah. So I just wanted to include him. He stands him. in yeah. the back and kills it. <laughs> yeah, we should have brought a picture of him. Right there. That's where he belongs. <laughs> Well, uh, I was just wondering if somebody can give me a little introduction to the sound and style of Messages Left. I know I checked you guys out at the Olympics, but uh, let's hear it in some words. Some words is what I say master. when people come by. They're like, hey, what kind of music you got? I'm like, dude, it's like funk with like rock crescendos, and we got some passionate poetic hip-hop later on top of that. And they're like, oh, shit. I'm like, that's right. That's but a very poetic way of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, yeah, you guys participated in the uh, March 26th uh, show at Coast as part of the uh, Your Music Olympics. How did the show go for you guys? Did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That's, that's pretty epic. Everybody, yeah. the, the house is packed, and uh, everybody was paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you, you can fun. read a lot. It, it's you, you play in front of enough crowds, you learn to read the crowd, whether they're just saying they're talking to each other. They're walking outside to go smoke a cigarette when, as soon as you start playing or whatever, and I felt like people just were glued to us. If they weren't dancing, they were just glued with their heads bobbing the whole the whole set, which was, uh, it was good. It was fun. And you guys are a fairly new group, right? Yeah. yeah. And Our first show was uh, February, I think. Yeah. End of February, maybe January. Uh, the Britannia Arms. That little spot there, and we just we had to bring our all of our own stuff. But from right there, we had a pretty good response. And that was supposed to be just like a single time project. The, these guys weren't really sure because these are they're both in different. What other bands. bands have you guys been in? None. <laughs> None. I was in uh, I was in Three Hundred Pounds, local kind of funk, funk punk alternative band for about six years, and uh, we just went on hiatus about last. Our last show was last October. And I was looking to do this uh, dub, sort of reggae-style hip-hop project, because I'm, I'm pretty into reggae and, and hip-hop, and I've never seen anybody really do a full-time meld of the two. And then I was talking to Drew, I kind of randomly met him, and then uh, he said he had all these lyrics, and he liked some of the same music that I liked, and he seemed like a pretty well-spoken individual, so I thought I'd give him the time of day. And, <laughs> and Sick. see uh, see what he had to offer and I was pretty much like instantly I was like I think I could work with this I'm into it nice dude and um, I've never heard this story before that's oh. <laughs> that's kind of where that's and then yeah and then he had, coincidentally he was starting to jam with you know mutual with Scotty mutual friend and um, that's where we're at no. yeah. and so then how did you get involved I was playing in this old school punk band Swindle. I guess I still am. Um, but Drew came to work at the gas station where I work. And uh, he's just, he's so pretty. And he's so cool. And he'd walk around while he's doing the chores. This is a pleasant pace dream for the masses. And just all these flows and stuff. And then he was talking to me about, he was trying to play guitar to him. And that, like, we should jam sometime, and then we did, and, uh huh, this is really interesting, I like this. And then, uh, we jammed with the bassist from Swindle, but it didn't really work out. And then, I don't, then just kind of, you came over with Bakos and Scotty one day, kind of, and kinda. we all just jammed, and it clicked, and it was I think it, it really might have cool. just been us three, maybe the first time. Yeah, I think it was just us three. I think it was, first and time. we just yeah. sort of, we definitely clicked, yeah. like, I mean, as a drummer-bassist combo, we... We had a like deadline, pretty... dude. I had, I had my buddy, I, I was just getting all in my head, like, I'm not doing anything with these rhymes, you know? And, like, I'd, I've tried being a part of people making beats and things like that. I don't, I didn't get into it. 
or I've tried to be a part of like a funk collaboration that I was going for with Scotty actually originally, but then that kind of dwindled out because he was also in a different band and they were way more focused. And so I was like, I'm going to freaking learn guitar. I knew chords, but I'm going to learn rhythm. And got it going on for enough to like play like three songs, I think. And I had three songs and I had my buddy. I was just like, dude, you got to fucking do this for me. I was like nervous about it. I was like, just fucking book me a gig and I will do it, you know? And he's like, book me that Britannia Arms gig. And I was like, all right, am I going to do this by myself? I was like, probably not. I don't want to be up there looking like a freaking, well, I mean, it, it could have been all right. I was like, but I want it to be like a collaborator. I want like a whole thing going on. So that's when we started talking. Like we're, we're on the same wavelength when we we're talking at that party about like wanting to start something new. And I was like, I'm getting serious about this thing. And so it was a one-time thing that ended up being... Working out pretty nice Amazing. for you guys. Indeed. Yeah, it's actually uh, the energy is really, really good, positive. Like we have, we're all like all are not afraid. No, nobody's afraid to bring new ideas to the table, and, and we're all open to suggestions and, and this or that. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> on Friday nights. On Friday nights. <laughs> oh, we're back. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> But, uh, yeah, that, and that's really, that's good. I, 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 don't know, I, I myself have been in the situation in the past where I felt like I wasn't able to, like, any new idea that I had might have been shot down immediately, and then, I don't know, I just, I, I feel like this is just... And he's the one really... that basically comes up with most of the changes and shit that we do that are fucking rad. So <laughs> I don't know what those other bands are thinking about. <laughs> Well, chill. Since you guys are a new band, I did want to ask you guys about what you thought about the music scene here in Santa Cruz. Uh, I mean, since you started and where you're at now, is it you find it supporting your uh, style of music and that? A little bluegrass. I think yeah. I think it I think it this does support our style of music. There's a lot of people who love eclectic, kind of danceable music in this town. I mean, yeah. or there's a lot. I mean. You know, it's a skate surf town, and I, I know I came up in the punk scene too. So, you know, scene I love wise, there isn't really any one scene. Like there used to be a pretty big punk scene where there was always rad shows going on for cheap, but it seems like that was sort of the end of an era of <clears throat> there being a few bands that people could focus on. Now there's so many different types of music, and all those types of music are are melding with each or blending with each other and, and people are pretty open to stuff but thanks to hip hop and sampling probably part of that mm -hmm. yeah, yeah some of that hip hop's a big outlet for a lot of people loving to bob their heads especially once you get a live band that. in there it's not just a beat <laughs> machine you know, you know? Uh, that kind of bums me out about hip hop is just the, the press play DJ iPod I love I love some classic you know DJs who are like Mix Master Mike or spin some wax up there and really get down with it but um, I'll see you guys like well we're bands. running down to the end of the interview I uh, just wanted to know where's some good places for people to contact you guys find out about you all that information freaking in myspace us myspace.com backslash messages left or facebook it yeah, I think facebook's the, the more happening thing now so uh, facebook facebook us Could YouTube and we'll it facebook too. you too yeah youtube yeah, Great. we're up on YouTube a lot. You gotta go, you gotta scroll down a little bit. Look for we're, Drew's face. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna also do, trying to get this little crew on, at the Community Television Center, it's like they do the, <laughs> what is it, the show is called Look Mom, I'm on TV, but I'm gonna be on TV, <laughs> Mom, I don't know, what the fuck, but yeah, so maybe we'll be on there too, but that's just for fun, and exposure, and to have a little something more presentable video wise rather than like someone bringing like a handy cam to a, to a concert you know so you guys I uh, just want to know any shows coming up where people can check you out San Francisco is our next one a couple of weeks that's San not Francisco. anywhere near here not near here <laughs> but uh well, we've got a couple here at Coach on the 22nd in the mission go we will very likely be playing here in May okay